And eh, it's not a big deal. But it would be cool. Yo, what's up, Stern to Tape? How's it going? Welcome back. We're at it again. I practiced drill skip. <laughs> so hopefully we won't fuck that up this time. Tricks free. And load to the drill room. Okay. Well, it was making me wonder if, like, maybe it doesn't load in if you don't, um, uh, what am I trying to say? If you, if you haven't, like, gone in there yet, maybe, like, it won't load that one room before, like, with the turning doors or whatever. I don't, I don't know. If we could get it to work, it'd be pretty sick. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? Ah, oh, I got you. Find it. Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. The cliff boss? Yeah, we got <laughs> got a little ways to go until we get back to that. Yeah, hopefully I don't uh, Snow Beast 3 doesn't troll me again. It did a little bit yesterday. Um but it might not be too much of an L, because you could maybe do something else with that out of bounds. Um I'll have to like load in I wanted to, like, do the floor clip and save my position, and then see, like, where, um, I was at, like, when the level was actually loaded. Because if you could do something else with that out of bounds, that oh, might actually be useful then. Your souls are right. <laughs> like, I don't know what the out of bounds looks like exactly over there, but, like, I don't know, maybe you could just get over to the part where you do normal drill skip and get back in bounds. I don't know. Either way, it'd be harder because it's all deloaded, so you can't really, like see where you're going but that definitely seems like the night like our best lead right now for like new strats all right not a bad prologue so far just gotta not get grabbed Could this be the 42? Let's go, dude. I got it. Doc, I got it. You can get to where you do normal drill skip. Interesting. Alright. I forgot about that. That actually might be a good thing, though. If you go around, like, all the way around the side of the room. So then it wouldn't be in your way, you could just, like, run off, maybe? But yeah, at the very least, I, d I did get that floor clip a little bit more consistent. You just gotta be in the right spot. And if you angle too far left, he, like, clips up instead of down. Yeah, 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 it's on the other side of the door, yeah. Any percentage, let's fucking go. What's up, Alexis? Hope you're having a good day so far. <laughs> Gotta go around. Yeah, I found- I was messing around with it when it was loaded in. It seemed like you had to run sideways around most of it so you didn't fall off. So it seems a bit sketch. Um... Doing good? That's good. Uh, kind of. I have to make sure you can do it without cheats, because it might- the last part might only work if you've actually gone in the drill room first, which obviously wouldn't help because we're trying to, like, get in there early, but if I can get it to work, then yes. I would have found a very small skip. I gotta test it some more, though. Yeah, it was- I, I, I found it was pretty annoying. Uh, it was- so, like, um... Before, right before drill skip, you know, there's that, the, you do the fight skip and then you roll back in bounds and then you do that hack panel, it would skip having to do the hack panel. Like, you'd clip, you'd, you'd go up and clip through the, the ceiling instead of dropping back down and then you get the, 
door to like load around you. Yeah, it'd be really small. But there's also potential to, which what Looney and I were just talking about, to hit the checkpoint after the drill room by just getting out of bounds earlier and not having to like do all that other stuff. Uh, if the thing I found works out, then you would still have to do drill skip, yeah. But we were talking about maybe we could just find a way to just skip drill skip entirely, base or it's still drill skip, just like a different way to do it. Maybe. It'd be annoying though because the level would be deloaded, so you wouldn't be able to see where, where any of the collision is. So you'd have to like navigate that without being able to see, and then make it over the checkpoint. All right, four twelve. Come on, let's go. Damn it! <laughs> Oh my god, that was like a, that that had to have been like a 413.1 or some shit like that. How, where, where am I losing like over half a second? Come on, dude. Drill skip skip? Yes. In classic Dead Space skip naming fashion. Let's go. Man. I, all my time save for prologue has gotta be just like the very beginning when you run, because I'm probably taking really bad lines still. Not optimal. Or something like that. That's, that's what I'm doing. It's not really a big deal. In the snow, yeah. Like at the very, very beginning, right? I don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna make this brief. I understand you're something of an I gotta watch you and Matt do it. I didn't make shit. I get lost there pretty easily. And you destroy two, which is why we're here. Well we're close. No. <laughs> no. Hey, hey, it was a gold, so you know it was golded by like a tenth of a second. Let's fucking go. Okay. We practiced car skip. It's easy. First try, let's go. Here's the okay, so here's the here's the strat. You you climb up right, and then you gotta let go of shift so you can actually crouch. That's one thing I usually fuck up. So you gotta do that. And you gotta go a lot further right than you think, and you gotta roll really late. Okay. So you can roll later than you think. Or I think I used to like fall off, so I used to start I started rolling earlier, but then I started rolling like way, way too early. Alright. Let's go. Let's fucking do it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Now where's Ellie? How long has she been missing? Just shut up and get over here. Hey. We'll explain later. Who the hell are you guys? The first to go is last battalion. His name's Norton. Captain Robert Norton. Last battalion, what do you mean? Last means last, genius, as in no more left. Looks clear. No more left. There's a right, let's go! Yes! Let's fucking go, dude. That felt a bit sketch, but we made it. I'm not getting in the fucking car. Nice. That was not a gold somehow. I guess I got that first try in another run. <laughs> Norton. I like how he still yells that at you, like while you're like already way out of bounds, like not getting in the car. Like, Isaac, get in the car, and he's like, no. <laughs> I'm not getting in the fucking car, Norton. How many times do I have to tell you? Holy shit.
But why topple the government? Why EarthGov? Danik blames them for experimenting with the markers. Thinks it's heresy. So you can That skip always feels extremely sketchy. It's just like there's nothing else quite like it in the whole trilogy. It's just really weird. Well, looking at my best possible time, that must have been really close to my gold on car skip. I must have just, like, barely missed it, because it hasn't gone down yet. Let's go. Cool. Gotta drive home, be around a bit. Alright, sounds good, dude. Hope you have a good drive. Oh, don't waste your energy. You're going to be dead in a matter of minutes. Pick him up. There's something I'd like you to see. There. You see that? To mark a test lab. They're everywhere at all the major colonies and outposts. What do you want from me? As part of the marker test program, Isaac, you help make them. And today, you of all people get to watch me set them free. No, no. You'll kill everyone. Death is only the beginning, Isaac. Nature must take its course, and I can't allow you or anyone else to stop that. Eyes forward, Isaac. Pay attention. Join the cycle of rebirth. Nope. I hope we get a gold here, because this one's always kind of a meme. Because you mostly just run in a straight line for most of the split, so it's like... When you gold it, it's like, Yo, we golded by a frame! Let's fucking go! I mean, you gotta shoot the stasis shot at the car, too, I guess, but yeah. Did not gold it, damn. Come on. Yo, what's up, Eric? How's it going? Welcome to the run, the stream. No trains. Okay. Hope you're doing good. Uh, yes, this is new game. No foam finger this run. does that sometimes, yeah. <laughs> I didn't see it, but I, I think I know what happened. Man, I always wish you could just grab the ladders as this thing was going by. It'd be such a big meme. I have to save a lot of time. Let me on! Let me on. Yeah, it is new game, so no foam finger, and we gotta craft weapons. And grab materials and all that stuff. What? How did I not get that last roll? Come on. Ah, here comes the cavalry. Alright, that's fine. North, which ship is the Eudora? The bigger one that just flew over your head. 
Ugh, gotta warm up my aim a little bit. Lost three seconds reset. Shit. I think you're right. Yo, Error, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate that. Alright, pretty good chapter one. Not bad. It's almost like if you get car skip first try, your run doesn't suck. <laughs> Okay. We're out of there. Only out. Alright. And now we sleep. <laughs> There's like... There, there are a couple things we have to do in this chapter, but... A lot of it, we're kind of just chilling. Uh, right at the start, there are two drops we can get from some lockers. And we're hoping for either health packs or stasis packs or um, I guess semiconductors would be good. We don't want somatic gel or transducers because we don't use those. Um, no, the, the new game record is a 201.25. The NG plus record is a uh, 156.55. Was that semiconductors? Scrap? Okay. That's fine. Yo. Glitchless sub 3 on Xbox is not bad at all. GG's. Yeah, I don't know if Stern, I don't know if you have a capture card, but if you do, uh, you should consider submitting a run. The hell is that? Moon. What's left of Who one? has the console glitchless record? I actually don't know. I see it. Uh yeah, it's SRC, yeah. I think. Probably right. British, yeah. This place is a junkyard. More like a graveyard. Sign of Ellie's ship. I'm reading several transponders, but none of them are ours. According to the registry, their sovereign colonies were. Yeah, British has a 224. Like, glitchless. Oh, that's a new game, though. It's an SOS coming from that ship dead ahead. I don't think there's any console runs on NG. Oh, wait, is this one might be actually. Alright, Rosen, close to 500 clicks. Aye, sir. The lights. The beacons? Hang on. But yeah, if you do have, if you, if that interests you and you do have a way to record your runs, you should think about submitting. It's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, you can upload a stream bot. Yeah, absolutely. I was only, yeah, I was only asking because I didn't know if you were just like, you know, um, just doing it for fun, like, uh, like, or if you were, you know, streaming it or something. But yeah, if you have a stream bot, that, that's perfect. As long as it has the whole run. Um. Oh, wait, sorry, uh, I misunderstood. Yeah, no, you should highlight it first before you submit. Yeah, don't don't submit just the VOD, because uh, eventually the VOD won't, um, it'll, it'll, like, disappear, so we want to have, like, a video that won't go away. Oh, yeah, Ghidorah's Xbox, yeah, yeah, I figured. It didn't show me the platform when I looked it up on my phone just now, so I'm sure, but I thought it was. Yeah, basic, yeah, just exactly what Alexis said. Okay, didn't get knocked backwards that time. Let's go.
All right. Um, if you have the VOD, uh, we can just retime it, but, uh, if you want to check, uh, the way we do it is, um, timer starts for when you gain control of Isaac, so it's after the intro cutscene, like, once you actually start moving. Uh, time starts there, and then time ends when the, uh, quick time event ends, at the very end. Okay, I can see the room. And since you're on console, it's RTA, so you can just check from the, from the video. Yeah, and worst case, if you don't get the timing right, um, whoever verifies it will double check anyway. Um, but yeah, and if you have any other questions about the timing, it we have the you can just check the rules on SRC, but it's pretty straightforward. Isaac, where are you? I'm coming. Just hang on. Got it? Alright. Let's go. Hey, watch it! Watch it! I can't see around it! They punched through it! Oh no! Oh no! Yo, we didn't die in chapter two. I know. Pretty big stuff. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Kinda kinda spicy run so far. Although the only thing really that different from this run and my runs yesterday is that I actually got car skip first try <laughs> pretty pretty funny All right now we get to the real spicy parts of the run Okay, not bad. Could have been a little better, but honestly, not that bad. Yeah, it's pretty hard. That like, I feel like, I don't know about you, but the line clip is what I find to be the hard part. Like the wiggle clip isn't too bad, but man, if you, if you don't get the timing right on the align, or you don't have enough FPS or whatever, um, you just, it just like it flings you away. You just lose so much time. Yeah, that happened to me a bit too when I first learned this, because I didn't play this game that much casually, so I had to like kind of relearn most of the game from just by doing the speed run. But the nice thing is, uh, you come back to Roanoke the second time, the map's still the same, so you get used to, like, where you need to go. Did you die? Oh my god. Can I not get absolutely cucked? Holy shit. Shit. Yeah. Oh my god. So just so we're clear, right, like, whether they transform or not is, like, basically random, I think. So that was very unlucky. <laughs> Whatever. Well, first what happens is I let go to make sure that the thing was all the way down, because that can happen where it's, like, not all the way down there, and then you have to restart it. And then the guy hit me, and I was like, shit, alright, well. <laughs> That's fine. It's not the end of the world. Hey, hey, all this. The crossover just opened up. You Grab these. Come on, let me in. Oh. All right. I'm 
go and use one of those. I'd like to have a little, a few more health packs than I have right now, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't think we lost that much there. Isn't that bad? Alright, well this puts us in a pretty good position. I don't know how far ahead we'll be here. We should still be ahead. Um, but... I know I have, like, we have the potential to be over a minute ahead in late game, even if we're like half a minute behind after Flotilla. Because I that, that happened once. So if we can stay ahead out of Flotilla, that would be really nice. But we... We have a little bit of wiggle room. How optimized is the run? Uh, the new game record is not very optimized, but the MG Plus is, uh, is a bit more optimized. Partially because it's NG Plus has been ran a lot more. We've been running New Game a little bit more recently because the weapon route got a little bit better. But uh, NG Plus used to be the main category just because the combat in this game can be kind of annoying, and your weapons suck because you skip so much of the game that you don't you can't make good weapons, so it's hard to make the combat not bad. This route's pretty good though, but. Yeah, basically, just to answer your question, it's not this. This run is not super optimized, but the NG Plus one is really good. Oh, I'm sure the glitchless run isn't super optimized either. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna store some temporary height by running into that wall, which we're gonna use to roll over this railing. Do another roll over this wall. There we go, so we skipped generator two. I, I'm, <laughs> I imagine glitchless runs are pretty bad, yeah. I was watching a bit of the trilogy record, which is like basically all glitchless, and there were so many cutscenes in three that I, I was just kind of skimming through the VOD, but there were so many cutscenes in three that I just like forgot even existed, because like, you know, oh shit. Because, you know, we just skip so much content, 90%. Can you clip out, please? Yo, thank you. Alright, we can still work with this. Alright, so this is Admiral's Quarter skip. Uh, we're gonna be... Well, actually, I'll explain it after I do it, because it's a bit... ...hard. Alright, slow clip out, but fast setup, maybe? Pause frame. That should work. Get a shot of dopamine in my brain every time I see that progress saving thing show up, I gotta tell you. <laughs> my monkey brain activates. <laughs> Let me see that shit. Okay. Okay, so that's called Admiral's Quarters skip. So, like it sounds, we skip the Admiral's Quarters. And the way it works is we do a wiggle clip out of bounds. And then when you use Kinesis as you leave a 0G area in this game, it flings you really fast in the direction your feet are facing. So we actually just launched ourselves like sideways all the way across the map and hit this checkpoint. Uh, I grab that item and then I save and quit because this cutscene won't play unless we quit to the menu and then load it back in. So if you just hit the checkpoint, uh, you softlock here, but fortunately we can just quit out and fix it. So I'm gonna dismantle that weapon for some parts. I'm gonna sell that and sell that and then sell that extra frame and then we're done. Fight the monkey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was not the most Pog champion uh, Admiral's Quarter skip, but it was pretty good. I mean, hey, getting the launch first try is what you really want. Uh, unfortunately, no. In 2, you always get sent straight downwards. For whatever reason. You can store that speed with a tilt 
and then when you run off certain pieces of collision, you can launch yourself. But it's jank as fuck, um, and it's not consistent. <laughs> like if you've seen that chapter three skip vod, or I mean, you were there when I was when I was messing around with it. Um, that shit's like so random. It's been done like twice ever after like tens of hours of people trying. <laughs> And the first time was me getting on an accident within like 15 minutes or some shit, and then yeah, <laughs> I was kind of hoping that would like become more of a thing, and we could find a bunch of skips and two with that. But at the moment, it's not. It doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. Fortunately, in this game, uh, it actually works a little bit better. Also, the saving and quitting to the menu thing would also make another skip and two possible. But you can't do it like so in chapter uh so the eight and nine skip right you can actually fall all the way down to the last checkpoint before you jump on the tram but the problem is if you load that in and you haven't like done the objective to like actually get the tram like down into the room isaac will because isaac jumps because like the cutscenes aren't pre-rendered or anything right so he just jumps and you don't land because there's no tram there and you just fall and the, that's like will happen over and over again even if you checkpoint restart see so soft lock it's very unfortunate, because that checkpoint probably wouldn't be that hard to hit. So, like, you wouldn't even have to- you'd, I imagine you could probably just fly at a zero-g and hit it. Like, you could just not have to do extended and all that dumb bullshit. It does look pretty funny, yeah. Very sad, though. Like. Shit. Santos, you found the records. What did they say? Only that the shuttle was decommissioned. Okay. They were going to pop it out. So... Great, so basically nobody oh. knows. Be more detailed shipping records okay, that wasn't what I was gonna say, but <laughs> uh, wait. Oh no! So he still f the room is still there. So he like he falls down to the lower level, but the tram like isn't there. So when he tries to like jump in, he just like falls down, and then eventually the level deloads and you fall and die. Um, and then when you checkpoint restart, it just does it again. <laughs> it's pretty sick. There is actually another checkpoint at the end of the tram cutscene that is loaded. It's just two thousand coordinates away. <laughs> Which is a little too far away to uh, to reach, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is going to be Terra Nova skip. This saves about 20 minutes, and it's going to skip two entire chapters. I'm going to focus here for a second. Oh, that was almost it. Come on. And that was it. Let's go. Fly up into this collision, go until the black thing disappears there, then fly back. There we go. We just skipped two chapters of the game. <laughs> Let's go! Honestly, even if you could Kinesis launch, you would probably die before you <laughs> made it that distance. I don't know though, maybe not. Alright, then we just gotta do this last shooting section here, which will let us progress to- Oh, don't hit me, okay. So let us progress to chapter 7. You only have to shoot the ones that fly into the gears, but sometimes I like shooting the other ones anyway, just because it's fun. Uh, no, you can't get checkpoints while you're dying, or after you've died. So, like, okay. And, um, the same thing in 2, like, 8 and 9 skip. This thing's gonna blow me up. Oh, no, it's not. Let's go. Watch. You did it. He did it. Okay, so, um, in the deload, you know how there's, like, the, the easier version where you go open, like, the big circular door, and then you can run through the other, like, regular door? If you just run out the regular door without doing that, there's no collision. And you're actually almost directly in line with the normal 8 plus 9, like, checkpoint that you get with the skip. The problem is, you die about three coordinates above where the checkpoint is. So your dead body does actually hit the checkpoint. Like, a split, like, frames after you die, basically. or some, I mean, maybe not that soon after, but... It's, it's, it's very close to working. It's okay. 
Okay, let's... Okay, we're gonna try to skip this dialogue here. We can... It's possible to get cucked, so I'm gonna do my best to not get cucked. But ultimately, that's not... I don't know if that's entirely within my control. Oh, that's kind of slow. So, oh, fuck! Yeah, this thing needs more than plating. It's oh, I would've gotten it, too, because it didn't get stuck. Right it could be a shuffle. That's okay. Check it out. Okay, well, we were. I think we were ahead. Uh, now we're gonna be a little bit behind, but that's not the end of the world. So I flew. I flew a little bit too high there, and hit the trigger. You can just barely get under it and then dodge it by running really close to the side, next to the ship. Pepe hands indeed. That's okay. That is okay. There will come a day, probably, if I kept grinding this. I don't know if I would... I feel like if I got to this point, I would just go back to Dead Space 2 anyway. <laughs> but there would come a day where missing that would be a reset, because it loses 20 seconds. And that sucks. Because it is, it's the last hard thing you have to do before you go to the planet. And now that I think about it, there aren't really... I think the only, like, hard... The only, like, hard things after this... Or the next, like, difficult sections are probably Snow Beast and Drill Skip, honestly. At least, like, Run Killers, anyway. Or sections where you can easily lose a lot. Because this chapter's not too bad. 8 and 9 aren't too bad. Is this it? Well, Snow Beast is at the end of 9, but... Yeah. You wanted an engine? Okay. Here you go. I did say this was easy, but we do actually need to do this fast. Some of us just want to go home, all right? I've disconnected all the lines and service tubes, but hell if I know how to get it out of there. I'll figure it out. Go get your equipment together so we can tow it back to the repair bay. You think you can handle it from here? That was, that was fine, okay, I guess. Guys, I <laughs> a little sloppy, engine. but not the Is end of the world. Ready? Well, not quite. I could have sworn I had a run yesterday that was also like 7.4, 7.6 or something at this point. Using flight recorders from these derelict ships. Yeah, right. We could reconstruct one of the routes they use. Kind of makes sense, though. I mean, kind of like Dead Space 2, even though it's a long game, it is pretty consistent. Satellites with solar panels. Got it. Also, this is completely off topic, but I'd just like to mention, isn't it whack that it's May already? <laughs> like, where has all the time gone? <laughs> like, it's almost, it's almost summer. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Though that's not too bad, because my brother and one of my best friends are coming back from school next week. So that's pretty pog. And said friend is also a Dead Space 2 speedrunner, so I'm gonna get in some Dead Space 2 runs with him. Great. There should be more floating around the road. Okay, I'll see what I can turn up. Who knows, maybe we'll sometimes we stream those. We do like, we'll do co-op runs, but it's a drinking game. So like every time Isaac says fuck, you drink. <laughs> it sounds really stupid and it is, but it's pretty fun. <laughs> Sadly though, you know, we keep skipping more of the game. So we, we keep skipping the parts where he says fuck. But see, then the strat is you just drink anyway. <laughs> I think I have enough flight recorders to reconstruct a safe route. <laughs> See, that, that's... Okay, so here... Okay, hear me out, right? So, like... I put it all together into a navigation... It's a drink... Okay, drinking game. Except you just drink whenever you want. <laughs> Should be easy enough. <laughs> Except at that point, it's not really a game, I guess. But, you know... <laughs> oh, man. But we, we gotta get a game in, because... Um... <laughs> the last time we did a run... We accidentally quit to the menu 
after doing the last skip right before the final boss, because if you hit escape and then mash enter really fast, you know, you can do that to checkpoint restart quickly. But the problem is if your mouse is over the quit button, it just quits the game instead of the game doesn't auto save. What? Oh, he's actually, fuck. Man, imagine losing time in chapter seven. We should have all the parts we need. Thank God. Could be me right now. And it is. We're going to the planet. Ellie. It's a role-playing game. Started, we are <laughs> exactly. We can't take on a whole planet full of those goddamn things. If not us, then who? Asgard is gone. Robert, we're the only ones left who can do this, and you know it. Ellie, you have to admit it sounds crazy. I mean, how do we know there's really a solution down there? Because you told me. In the Admiral's quarters, you said, turn it off. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Damn straight. Captain, we okay. can't pass this up. Carver, I don't need your mutiny on top of all, all right. this. If I save your module installed for what it's worth. Wait, no, I'm no, not right. saying. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. I usually just mash E and then wait and then mash escape, but I decided to mash escape on the bench this time, like a little earlier. What's that look for? And I wasn't sure if you ever actually did have to press E to craft the thing. I guess you do. I, I learned that oh, this time. Right. <laughs> so we might lose like a tiny bit, but we're. We're doing okay. Like I said, we can be like 30 ahead or behind out of this chapter and still be like a minute ahead later. So we're doing just fine. I am almost kind of surprised I haven't gotten a run that's at least ahead or almost, you know, caught up with my PB out of uh, Flotilla. I must have had a pretty good, pretty good segment. Though I did miss the dialogue skip. So I would have still been ahead. Actually. There we go. Pressure is rising and it's steady. That's okay. At least I missed the dialogue skip in a way that was my fault. Like I just went too high. The thing that really tilts me is that like in the second part you can just get stuck on some collision while you're running because zero G's jank. And then you're just fucked, then the dialogue just plays anyway, and it's like yeah. <laughs> Then you just look like a clown. Alright, auto scroller time. Let's fucking go, dude. Poggers, hell yeah, let's go. I would imagine so. I feel like, don't we have pro- wait, do we have prosthetic eyes now that do that? I feel like we might. I actually have no idea. I feel like if they have technology where they can like, you know, grab things with telekinesis and shit like that, I feel like they probably would have working prosthetic eyes. I mean, it's also, I mean, you know, it's also sci-fi, so I guess they can do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> If not, that would be uh, a little spooky, considering uh, you know de she takes over navigation later. You know, so, you know depth perception and all that. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I have no depth perception when I'm doing this part. Like I'll just smash into stuff, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure I shot that. Or, oh, the last part where you have to like dodge all the rocks and stuff. I just fucking fly into stuff all the time there. Like even still, when I'm like pretty sure that I'm not going to, and I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Wow, I'm going off course. Okay. The loose. She should use an eye patch. Pirate wrong. Ellie, let's fucking go. Yeah, we're coming in too high. Give me a course correction. We can't correct now. We'll miss our window. This angle, we won't reach the window. Okay, I'm sending you a new vector. <sighs> Oh no, I can't shoot it. <laughs> Space piracy. Hell yeah. 
we did talk about that yesterday with the whole flotilla stuff. So, you know, gotta, gotta tie it all together. It's like the only place you can lose or save time on this split. Let's fucking go. Uh, this guy that gets hit in the head is Rosen. He's the guy that was complaining earlier when we went to go get the, uh, the shuttle. He's also, um... And that really long cutscene in Chapter 2, when like we're on the bridge of that one ship, the Eudora, uh, he's the guy... What? This is, this is what I'm talking about. He's the guy piloting the ship, like, when they run into the mines and stuff. I'm gonna hit that. Yeah. Oh my god. Do not die here. Okay, we didn't die. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I always make that way closer than it's supposed to be. That part is not that hard. <laughs> it's just like, you know, you can't move very much in any direction there. And so I'll always be like, ah, oh, there's a rock below me. Let me try to, like, fly above it. But then I hit, like, the ceiling where, like, it doesn't let me keep going. And so I just smash into it. I'm like, oh, I was supposed to go under it. Shit. <laughs> Uh, there were definitely a couple there I just was not paying attention and just fucking hit me on the side or something, but, you know, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. As long as you don't die, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> Alright, Isaac, come on. Alright, come on, Isaac, let's go. Alright, here we go. Oh, shit. Wasn't taking the optimal line there. The main way we try to save time in most of these sections is there's these areas where you get slowed down. You have slowed movement, I mean. And when you have slowed movement, it's faster to aim down sights than just a walk. Uh, though it has to be a one-framed weapon, like the plasma cutter we got. Oh, I didn't explain this earlier, but in case you haven't seen it before, we did that craft at the bench a while ago, back in the flotilla. And I dismantled the SMG we had, and then sold a bunch of parts, and got rid of the uh, rotator cuff on this uh, plasma cutter here. So I can't rotate it, it's just uh, horizontal the whole time. Uh, you notice it looks kind of high up on the <laughs> thing, it looks a little weird. But that's because it's supposed to have a lower tool there, but we just took it off. And we're going to be keeping this weapon for the rest of the game, and then in a few chapters we're going to be using some other materials that we are going to sell or picked up and use those to build a two-framed weapon. Ellie. Which is going to be the contact beam Ellie. and bolus gun, which we're going to use for a uh, higher damage output later. Because, the, like I said, the guns in this game suck. <laughs> uh... It would be possible to not get the bolus gun 
So I could skip that, like, after I do Admiral's Quarter skip, I could skip picking up that item. So that would save a decent amount of time. But, as of right now, uh, I still use Bolus Gun just because it's so useful. It probably is possible to not get it and save time not getting it, but not sure. There's a snow beast, we'll be kicking his ass later. skip a snow beast animation here where he jumps on this building by pulling that open before we start this generator. Did I just not? Did I just do that? Oh. No, I'm just dumb. Thought it didn't open. Also, I don't think I have any stasis packs. Nope. <laughs> okay. Um, I have like a couple more chances to grab one before the boss fight coming up. If I don't get one, it's not the end of the world, but it does make it a little easier. I'm trying to think. I usually want a stasis pack, because even with a good fight, um, I still want a stasis in four times to make it easier. Uh, let's see. Well, it's two phases and then... He does that twice, so... It's really the first phase, I think, that's the hardest to aim, so maybe I'll just stay with some on both first phases. I don't know. We'll see. Damn it. I was trying to save some health by shooting that guy, but he... did not stagger. Alright, so this is a suit repair skip. We're gonna skip getting our suit repaired, which normally opens the door up, but we're just gonna go right over that door instead by climbing up this really tall wall here. Almost there. There we go. Let's go. All right, there's two more boxes we can get on our on our path here. If we get lucky, we can get a stasis pack. Probably won't. But, you know, we'll see. Like I said, we don't we don't need it. It just makes it easier. Somatic gel, nice. Dude. Maybe it was only one box. Oh, uh, you know what? There's two boxes that I usually grab after the fight, but I could probably grab them before. Yeah. Let's see.
All right. So, like a lot of fights in new game, this fight. Well, a lot. Like I should say, like a lot of fights in this game, it's very easy on NG Plus, but or easier. But uh, new game, it's a little bit more annoying. Partially just because you have to hope you actually get stasis drops. <laughs> Alright, I might have time to grab these boxes, because we got to start this generator and wait for this elevator to unlock. No, it's not worth it. I probably could have gotten it, but... Oh well. We're doing it live. I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna try to save my shots. See how this goes. No, don't charge me. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't get the left one yet. Oh, hit hit it, please. There we go. Okay, so we'll just stand far back and try to hit these. Okay. That that worked out. That's that's definitely the strat. It's harder to hit these things. Ah, almost had him. Come on. Fucking get owned, let's go. <laughs> All useless materials, let's fucking go. <laughs> okay. I'd say that went pretty well, all things considered. <laughs> of course, now I get a stasis pack. That's cool, though. We need more of them anyway, so... Not complaining. And honestly, I really don't need stasis packs for that second phase. I might just stop using it for that, honestly. And if I have stasis, just use it more for that first phase where you gotta hit the fucking annoying tentacles or whatever. Yo, garbage items! Let's fucking go. I literally got... Well, I did get some ammo, I think. Assuming I actually was able to pick it up. But you get... I got somatic gel and transducers, which just don't need at all. Ironically enough, I was complaining about not having stasis packs, but you can build those with transducers, but that requires actually going to the store, or the bench, I mean, which is slow as fuck. Alright, nice. About time. It's a That's what you do? Okay. Also, welcome back, Looney. That makes sense. I, w I was thinking about it beforehand, and I was like, okay, well, <laughs> if I only have two stasis shots, I'm gonna use it on the actual, like, part where you really need it. it you really don't need it that much for the- where you hit his actual weak spot. I mean, it helps a little bit, but... I don't know, if you think about it, it's actually faster to not use it, because you don't have to actually shoot the stasis shot in the first place, so, you know. <laughs> There's that. I'm just waiting for the day I get that perfect fight. Hit all three tentacles, then hit the thing, then hit all three tentacles again. Let's get the two phase. Everybody move! 
Okay. I fucking practiced drill skins. <laughs> so hopefully we can get it first try when we get there. I gotta get through a couple more rooms first though. Well, more than a couple, but yeah. A few. Several, if you will. Yo, who's excited for the uh, GDQ games list to come out in a couple days? I'm pretty hyped. Let's see if I can get a an item here. Ammo, that's fine. I'll take it. Did he just say it's over shithead? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that line before. It's kind of funny. Well, like I just got one shot. Get home, holy shit. Absolutely destroyed. Can you move? Don't do it. You did it. Oh my god, he's got fucking comboed, I think. Holy fuck. Let's open some health there. That's he's gonna try to shoot me again, isn't he? No. Oh well no, he did at the last second. We oh, dodged him. Okay. Man. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Come on, grab the item. Alright, I think I'm starting to get low on health packs. I might have one more left. I'm gonna try and use it. If I have one, I'm gonna try and use it after I get past this guy. He's gonna shoot me. I did have one more, okay. Alright. Got two tricks here. First, we're gonna skip this fight by going up and out of bounds over the trigger. I was just too far left. I aimed just a little bit too far left. That sucks. Okay. Not the end of the world. Right there will work. Thank you. Maybe I aimed a lot far left. I don't know. Whatever. I'm over it. Let's pick it up here. Roll back and bounds. Skips all the enemies except this dude who always jumps out when you interact with this for the first time. I'm gonna fuck him up. Dude, I, I don't think I've gotten a single waster this run that's died without transforming first. Actually... Alright. Let's fucking do this. Where am I? What? Hello? Game? Hello? Hello? There we go. Fuck you, Drill Skip. Let's go. <laughs> okay, the wall boost at the beginning was kind of weird, but... We're, we're past it. I'm over it. Just get me out of here. Get me out of chapter 10.
Oh, okay. Sorry, I wasn't talking too much then. I was trying to focus because that skip's been messing me up <laughs> recently. Okay. And now we do a bunch of menuing. No. Come on. Uh, what? All right, that was kind of slow, but I think we can still make it. Kind of choked a little bit. Come on, 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 come on. I almost hit escape an extra time, which would have been really bad because I would have had to watch that really slow ass bench animation a second time. No, no good. There's probably a furnace on the roof. If I can find it, I can get it running again. Isaac, be careful up there, right? Yeah, that don't hurt yourself. Let's go. So that, as you can see there, that door doesn't unlock until that conversation's over. So if you do the craft fast enough, you can make it over there. That was really weird. I, I got kind of confused there. I almost thought I didn't pick up the reload circuit that I had to sell. But we are all good. So yeah, this is the, uh, we got a contact beam on the top and the bullet's gun on the bottom. You'll see both of them pretty soon. But first, we're going to do a trick called Nexus Skip. Uh, this is another one that saves about 20 minutes and skips two entire chapters. And we're going to do that by sending the elevator down while we're still on top, getting on top of the elevator as it comes up, which will clip us up to the ceiling, and then use that to drop down to the lower level, past the door, and hit a checkpoint. I should really just start going for that at some point, because I don't usually miss it. Of course, the one time I don't grab the checkpoint, I'll probably fuck it up and lose a million years, but... You know, that's just how it goes. Thank God that one's not as hard as the Rosetta Labs one, though. Alright. So while we do have to wait for this elevator, we do have to take the elevator all the way up, then have it go back down, and then wait for it to come back up again, which might seem kind of slow, but trust me, this is <laughs> way faster. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Ten, eleven, twelve. So just waiting a bit so that the bottom level will still be loaded. Alright, so now we just crouch, and while we're crouched and getting pushed up, we'll be pushed through the ceiling. And once we get to the top, run off. And we got it, let's go. Okay. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the trouble. Yo. Yo, what's up, dude? Not much, man. Not much. Nice, work. nice. nice. Well, How's your run going? Well, Not we bad. Are. Not bad at all. Killer, Isaac Clark. Um and here I won't are. know how far ahead or behind well, we are until after the boss fight again, but you know, I must admit, I almost didn't believe Drill Skip didn't Eat my ass this time friend, as badly, so I didn't. I didn't lose I'm like two minutes. So always keen for drill skip, not eating ass. Yeah, I don't know if you saw what happened yesterday, but I had um like both runs. I'd get to the third part, and when I tried to clip out and like land on the you know, you just fall. I just fall. Yeah, I figured out why. <laughs> Which I'm sure you probably already know, but you gotta like. I actually started clipping at more of an angle, and you can kind of like run up the rock and then go left and land. Down. Yeah, have you ever seen me do it? How I do a little pirouette? I think so, maybe. That's I do that pirouette because I'm fucking paranoid about that shit. Yeah. I like do a full 360 running up the thing. That make makes sure sense. I don't. 
Yeah, because I used to just like clip out and run straight for it, and apparently I didn't have a problem with it until yesterday, but then all of a sudden just couldn't do it anymore, so. <laughs> Pepe hand save Norton. Isaac will try. Uh, but yeah, no, pretty pretty decent run so far. The wall boost at the beginning of Drill Skip kind of trolled me for some reason, but it wasn't that bad. Um, I missed the dialogue skip. <laughs> it went too high. Nice. But besides that, we're doing okay. Why did my new game plus files in this game never have any fucking med kits? Yo, new game plus, let's go. Oh no, just like my testing. Oh, you just file. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like so full of fucking ammo. There's like no. Oh, you want to borrow some somatic jumper? Like I'm plenty. <laughs> This save has 91,000 somatic gel, dude. I think I'm okay. Yeah. That sounds like it's probably enough, yeah. See if this guy gets wrecked. Nope. Alright, got him. I expected them to get hit by that, but, you know. Oh shit, we gotta go up here. Very nice. I think I still have a stasis pack, so I might use that here. Nice, nice. Oh, you know, I, I just remember, there was one other thing I thought about practicing, or yesterday, that I was like, oh, I should practice this, which was Alien Machine Skip, but I don't think I need to actually practice that. Nah, you should be fine. I know what I did. I, I like, YOLO'd it and just aimed, like, way too far right. And missed it. That's okay. But I, I only... Really just threw that because the run was dead anyway, so it was like, lol, might as well just go for it. <laughs> but if I get an actual good run there, I'm not going to do that. Nice. Very nice. I feel like this will go, that was a really clean fight. So if you just don't press either, I guess he just shoots you. <laughs> That's what I would guess. Uh, something like that, yeah. Norton. Fuck. Come on. He won't stay dead forever, not around here. I feel like flying Norton would make a good emote. Just him fucking like flying up in the air. <laughs> would it? I don't know about a good emote for that one. 
Maybe if you, like, had someone draw it. Maybe it wouldn't be, actually. But that's kind of hard to portray as an emote, you know? Yeah, and emotes are pretty small, actually. Yeah, I mean, maybe not. I think that's maybe too niche of a joke. <laughs> there he goes. That was a gold. Nice. Let's go. If they're this close, do they not hear just that whole battle going on with the fucking hive mind? <laughs> Never thought about that. What? I'm sorry. I had no choice. Norton betrayed us, Ellie. He was ready to kill us. Isaac did what he had to do to save the mission. I... Oh, come on. We gotta keep moving. <laughs> Then we leave you behind. If you can't keep your head, you're a danger to everybody. You're horrible. Nobody's leaving anybody. Now oh, come on. Let's get to the top of this mountain. Together. Together. All right, Cliff's time, baby. Let's go. Playing the Cliffs, Omegle. Omegle. Imagine not skipping the Cliffs. It's kind of cringe, honestly. I don't think I hate this level as much as I used to when I first started playing it, but it is still pretty annoying. Gonna be too early for a second. I'm not here because someone put a gun to my head. Well, Norton said because someone put one to his. Guys, I found a cargo cage, but it's wedged into the cliff. I'll try to free it and send it down. Ellie, hear me? We see it. Alright, I'll be back in a bit. Alright, sounds good. Okay, let's hope these leapers don't troll us here. Uh, don't grab me. Get out of my way. Okay. Alright, that could have been worse. What the fuck? That was kind of weird. Really? Watch out for this other rock. There we go. Oh, 
Got one more. Yeah. Got him. This weekend you're gonna learn hardcore any percent or do Dead Space 3. Let's go. Well, either way, that sounds pog. We're okay. We drove it off. Oh, thank God. Look, about Robert. I just don't understand why he would try to kill you. He blamed me for all the trouble we're in. He kept pushing to go home. I kept pushing to go. The mission is all that matters. Nice. I thought Robert understood that. Okay, I'm here for you. Well, I'd recommend either one. They're both really fun. Still no witch. Um, three would obviously be easier to start off with since you already know the run. Or, like, learned all the tricks as well. Um... Oh yeah, true. I gotta go back and, um, at least, uh, finish the rest of the tutorials. I got, the, I got five of them done, but I still got seven left to go. I should do that. Every time I see the way that dock looks at the moment, I kind of die inside a little bit. <laughs> Just like, oh no. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Cool. I found the witch. I'm gonna start it up. Cool. Hang on to something. Wait. I don't like this. Just talk to me. And don't look down. What's our next step? Well, we now know that in order to turn off the machine, we'll need some sort of key. The researchers call this the okay. So where is it? But yeah, three would be a good one. Um, hardcore is also really fun. It takes a little longer to get used to just because of the harder combat and stuff. So, tell me about this, Rosetta. Well, they don't know much. Well, you know, Sternitate, if there was a way to. Skip past it. I definitely would. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is an out of bounds here. I think Looney. Yeah, no, he did say that. There's an out of bounds you can do before this room, but I don't think there's any checkpoints you can hit down there. Or there might be. Actually, I don't think so. I think the rest of them load in after this part. I don't. I don't remember. I mean, Zealot's not bad. It's a little different though. Still, I mean, it'd be good for practice for sure. Actually. Um, but you do skip more stuff, so like the route's pretty different. Um, but it is basically just any percent with harder combat. Like, it's just like, uh, like in chapter three, you just buy the pulse rifle and the line gun, you know, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's it's all the tricks are exactly the same. It's just. Um, the combat's harder. And certain skips are a bit more sketch, like medical deck skip is a bit weirder because the enemies are a bit more aggressive on higher difficulties. So it's a little different, but like it's it's the same route basically. It's really the checkpoint stuff that makes hardcore cool. Because you actually do different skips and stuff. But Honestly, yeah, playing Zealot is pretty good. As like just like a, a um, introduction to hardcore, you know. Isaac. Yeah, so those will you won't have to worry about that. Or like decontamination skip is also really sketch because yeah. it, you can't really see, and if you you can get one shot, so. Yeah, but if you're not doing it, you wouldn't have to worry about that. Oh, I mean, you can still get one shot, but, like, you can at least see where you're going, you know? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Try to lure him 
to those tracking lasers. Really? You're supposed to charge me, you know, when I do that. Please? Yes. Yes. Use the torque control. Quick, he's gonna break free. Not bad. Um, that, I believe, yeah, that would be NG+, plus, yeah. Yeah, even though it's not DLC, you unlock it by beating the game. NG+, plus, so it, yeah. How to get a Dead Space 2 runner to not play the game. <laughs> there you go. Got him. Yeah, that was that was uh, a pretty good Snow Beast 3. He trolled me a little bit. He didn't charge right away when I shot the first tentacle, but besides that, it was pretty good. And we're out of the cliffs. Let's fucking go. We're out of there. All right. Submitted a picture as video evidence? Is that what you're saying? No, I didn't. <laughs> of the run? I gave up, Ellie. Is it, like, even from the game? Is it, like, a, a frame from the run? Or... This must be the place. Wait. How the hell do we find this Rosetta? That doesn't entirely surprise me. Um... <laughs> Wait, for Dead Space 2? I... I... <laughs> Wait, are you sh- What? Wh <laughs> I gotta see this. I'm trying to think, I think I might know who you're talking about, and that person does stream. Cause I've like watched their stream- Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of glitchless any percent. Oh, you're talking about ng plus any percent. Oh, um... Wait, I think Radish did most of, if not all, the uh, the retimes though. So he might say he verified it, but he might not have been like the original person to verify it. So it might is it is it like a really old run? Because that might be why actually. Go on ahead. I see a ground route. I'll shoot directions to your rig. We'll meet at the facility. 2015. Oh, okay. That no. Then yeah, Radish didn't originally verify that. No, <laughs> that's just from the retime. That, that makes a lot more sense. It's way before my time as a speedrunner as well. <laughs> How do you retime a picture? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Basically, we just... We figured out like how much I, I don't well I don't know what platform it would have been it's on. But I'm assuming we would have said like, okay, well here's how much time you need to take off for this platform from like, you know, when you start to when you gain control. Obviously the ones with video we actually did it manually just to, you know, make sure, but I think for the ones that didn't that we just did it that way. Wait a minute. There. Rosetta Lab. It's here. Perfect. Send me the coordinates. Now let's hope Danik doesn't find us before we can build this codex. Oh, what is this hack panel? This is so slow. Alright. Yeah. I know, well, the only game that I've actually submitted runs to that I know for sure does that is BFBB. And the way they do it is, like, I think it's, like, if you're under, like, for any percent, if your time's over a 105, you don't need video proof. And if you're under 55, you need 
Uh, if you're under 105, you need video proof, and if you're under 55, you need Sorry, capture card proof. Or capture card video. Sense. Which kind of makes sense. Because I, I actually submitted my first couple runs that way, because I hadn't gotten my capture card yet, but I had done a couple. They cut her into pieces? Though they obviously, you know, encourage you to submit video. <laughs> but, makes sense. I think, I guess most games just do that as an accessibility thing. Makes sense. Gets more people running the game, too. I think it's another piece over there. Or at least people submitting runs, anyway. Yeah, especially for console games, yeah. Great. Okay, I'll see if I can route that to the assembly station. The only time you'd mostly have that problem on PC is if it's like, you know, you're not able to record and play at the same time, but that's not usually a problem. Depends on how intensive the game is, though, I guess, on your PC and stuff. I was barely able to do runs on my laptop <laughs> when I had that. Yeah, I mean, that's, and that's, that's true, too, yeah. Either in one. Yeah, it's not ideal, obviously. Oh. Yeah. Most of the doors were locked down, from what I could see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look what I found. A secure. The next section coming up here has got a couple shot? difficult things back to back. Hey, why not? See what we can do. Great, Let's fucking thanks. do it. Find out what you can about how assembling Rosetta will create a codex. I'll explore the labs. And the Yo, I saw that. The, the sponge man is live. It looks like there are three primary buildings in this facility. Uh, I'm going cutter. Yeah. The one we're in now is biology. There's one for paleontology. I will most likely be checking him out later tonight. Which one I check out first? I don't know if that guy always. Maybe he doesn't grab you that often. I've gotten grabbed. I got grabbed like once, and I was like, okay, I'm never not rolling there again. <laughs> I think he swung his axe at me though. I don't think he was gonna hit me. Or is it a hatchet? I don't know. Whatever it is. Alright, so we turn V-Sync on to help with this elevator clip. Kinda like Nexus Skip, we're gonna try to get the elevator on the bottom while we're on the top, but it deloads when it goes down, so we've gotta hit a checkpoint before it gets all the way to the bottom. Let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. Okay. What? Okay. Alright, so the level's gonna deload. We're gonna hit a checkpoint. Turn V-Sync off. Okay. So now, we can run back. The elevator will be at the bottom. Got him, okay. Then we're gonna crouch clip after calling the elevator. Okay. So being crouched while this pushes us up is gonna clip us to the ceiling up here. The elevator is gonna teleport us because Dead Space 3 is weird. <laughs> uh, so after it does that, we're gonna climb this wall. And now we're out of bounds. Well, we were out of bounds already, but we're gonna head over here. Do all this to skip over a barrier, which skips two chapters. You notice there's quite a few of those kind of tricks in the game. <laughs> Alright, so now that that's over, now we get a really tough fight coming up. Did you die? I got What? I didn't reload, are you serious? Okay. Oh, he's not dead either, then. Really? This is slow.
Okay, this is slow. Please, please hit these guys. not dead, which is actually good. Use those. Alright. That was not the best it could have been, but we made it. That last one's kind of hard to do both at the same time. Okay. Alright, so now that's over. <laughs> now we got Descent Skip. Alright. Okay, so we're going to try to skip almost all of these Descending Repel sections here by clipping out of bounds at the bottom and doing a bunch of sketch uh, platforming. Yep, best trick. I actually do really like this trick. It's just a very frustrating one to mess up because it can really fuck you over. Right, aim here and roll. And aim down here and walk backwards. Tap off. Carefully. Yeah, I really like the way this skip looks. It's really cool. That should work, hopefully. Okay, this is looking good. I'm a gamer, let's fucking go. Thank fucking god. World record pace, let's fucking go. Okay. Alright, it is certainly not over yet, but that is a very stressful part of the run, Don. I will not choke alien machine skip. Okay. Do some reading. Let's fucking go. The natives of this planet constructed a machine that froze the moon in mid formation, but it wasn't enough. Even half formed. Wait, how did this get on that? I've seen Looney do this. And it doesn't end there. There is a network of brethren moons spanning the stars. As each one completes, it connects to this network, making them aware. If this moon should complete, its brothers will all come looking for food. But there is, hope. is this one of those ones you have to like reload to get up there again? I don't even remember. It wasn't meant to merely freeze the moon, it was meant to destroy it. You'll need the codex. It is the key to unlocking this machine and reconfiguring it. Follow my trail into the heart of the machine and end this nightmare. I was afraid your FPS will tank. I mean, FPS for Alien Machine doesn't matter too much, I don't think. Unless that. I mean, not Alien Machine. Um. Descent. I don't know if that's what you were talking about. Just said that a while ago. Okay, I will be right back. My God. Holy shit. This must be 
Ground Zero. And that must be the machine. So I guess this is it, huh? Yeah. This is it. I need you to promise me something. If I don't make it, you'll get this done, right? We'll get this done, Carver. You and me. Yeah, but if I don't... Pog, I'm back. I helped get us this far. And that's close enough for all this to count, right? Count for what? For... I don't know. Just... All the bad I've done. Oh, shut up, Carver. You're a good man. I alienated my son, wrecked my family. Isaac, I killed Santos. Is that what a good man does? Good men mean. He's AFK. Poor form. Imagine, imagine being in the hard to heart cutscene and not sitting here watching it with chat. Ah, just waiting for the kiss. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's coming up. Welcome back, Looney. Me too. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Alexis, yeah, I don't think your FPS really matters that much for Descent, unless you're down to like 30, then, then you're gonna die. <laughs> but otherwise, I think it's gonna be okay. If you can make the first fall in Descent, you have enough FPS for Descent. It's kind of amazing it works, honestly. It seems like you get pretty close to dying. Not even gonna throw it right there. It's alive, Daddy. It's hungry and it isn't alone. If you turn off the machine, you'll set it. I gotta wait long enough so it don't get blown up by random bullshit. Okay, that was kind of slow, but whatever. Fuck. That actually wasn't too bad, actually. I wonder if that's better for this part than throwing it, just kind of like juggling it. Probably not. You just spend more time aiming down sights. Yeah. Oh well. It wasn't too bad overall. God, this guy's gonna try to fuck me up. Oh, he did. Okay, it's fine. Shit, 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 shit. Out of here. Barber, really? Okay. That's fine. What about stasis? What about it? Think it's enhanced too? Try it. Let me know. Okay. So we clipped through that elevator there. While we're calling it down so it'll go to the bottom and that way uh, on the way back down we can just clip through again on the top and not have to actually write it back down nice Little 
puzzle here. Ow. I swear to God, one of these days they're just gonna kill me in this cutscene. I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I don't know. I guess this not. isn't the city, Carver. All of this, this is the machine. Holy hell! Okay. Nice. Yeah, really much a tutorial for this. For what? Oh, the you trying out the. How do you get back down? Fuck. How do you get back down if you go the whole way through? Oh, uh, sometimes you kind of get stuck, but I, I just kind of try to like crouch and uncrouch as I walk back, and sometimes I'll kind of like get over the lip. Um, sometimes I would just teleport back, it was kind of trolling me a bit. Um, I think I might have gotten invincibility. You, you should, um, get invincibility in the cutscenes, yeah. Though it could be like two, or, like, there's a couple in two where you actually don't. So you can actually, like, die during the cutscene, which looks really funny, and then you'll, well, you don't, like, it still finishes the cutscene, but you're just, like, all blown up and stuff. Wait, was that... Did I fuck up? Oh no, I fucked up. What did I, what did I do? Okay. I don't know how I messed that one up. That's not the end of the world though, that's fine. Hey Carver! I'll bet this supercharging effect might let us TK the limbs right off Necroborgs while they're still moving. That's great! That should work. Okay. Get me out of here. Last skip of the game, let's do it. Oh my god, this is infuriating. You keep, uh, are you clipping to the top? I can't get the clip down. Um, you have to be pretty far to the right, and you don't want to be aiming too far left either. Oh, you can't aim too far right, I guess, which obviously doesn't help, I guess, but, um... It just feels random. I don't understand. It's a bit, it's a bit jank. It's not a hard skip, but I was just nervous. <laughs> I was taking it slow. Oh, yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense, yeah. I hadn't thought about that. Did I almost slip off? <laughs> I might have. <laughs> Fucking, I don't get this. How the fuck do you clip through this? Well, I did it on accident the first time. <laughs> don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Every time I'm like half clipping through and then Isaac just comes back out of the floor. Okay, interesting. Get me out of this chapter. Holy shit. Okay. I have time save here, yo. How do I have 26 seconds here? Uh, okay. Well, we should save time then. I did not know I had that much time save at this point. got a second chance. If he turns off the machine, we're all dead. Her? Us? Don't let it all go dark, Isaac. 
more than one kind of right. All right. Well, we didn't choke 17 and 18, so I'm happy about that. Well, we did like a tiny bit, but not like <laughs> no major fuck ups or anything. Are you holding a movement key when you're uncrouching? Uh, I'm continuing to walk forward. I don't know if I mentioned that. How are you walking you? forward there without just falling? Like, I have to hold A to fucking not fall off. I finally done it. Um, I'm trying to think. The I can take a look at it again, and like after I'm done with this oh, run. This is infuriating. I just wanted to test if it worked because I went came here from the start of ten, but I can't get this clip at all. I don't know. I don't fucking understand it. I, I honestly don't really know how it works. I think you might be like clipping under a wall, like or like into a wall, and then that pushes you down. I'm not really sure. It like happened on accident. And I was just like, how the. Fuck? Well, regardless, I don't think I'm doing this on a run. It seems like dog shit. No. It wouldn't really save that much. I wouldn't go for it unless it was like. Unless I had it consistently or something. <laughs> I already lose runs to drill skip sometimes. I'm not trying to lose it right before drill skip. <laughs> you know. Alright. Just gotta not fuck up the final boss. Which. <laughs> it's easier said than done. I should play music on stream sometime, I think it would be fun. Especially, well, especially for longer categories and stuff. Gotta find some non DMCA tracks, you know, and then, uh, then we're I think also... she means like play an instrument. Oh, did you mean like actually play music? Oh, yeah, <laughs> duh. <laughs> um, I thought you just meant because we were in a cutscene, and I'm just like, that would actually be kind of nice since we're in a cutscene, but no, I, I actually might be down to do that. It's pretty fun. Oh, I haven't played my this instrument is... in a while. Could do like a music writing or mixing stream or something, I feel like that'd be kind of cool. Make some Fucking. synths and stuff. Oh, I play tuba, that's my main instrument. I also own a bass and I have a keyboard as well, but not as good at those. Can you not do that? You need to chill, and then you need to chill. I don't have stasis, okay. Uh oh. But now I have stasis. Oh, I don't even think I need it. Get fucked. Uh, actually, yes, pretty much. <laughs> Basically. It's the... Well, I don't want to say the... I think... Because there, there are, might be bigger ones. If you have, like, a contrabass tuba or something ridiculous. But, like, stuff you would normally see, yeah, it's the biggest brass instrument. It has the same bell shape as the trumpet. Which is why it's, like, kind of... Kind of like that. Wait, doesn't it look like the euphonium? It's a euph it is basically just a euphonium, but an octave lower. Yeah. Well, assuming you're talking about a B flat or a C tuba. If you're talking about an E flat or an F tuba, then those are a bit higher. But yes. You don't yes. fucking know. <laughs> the ones you normally see in like ensembles are B flat or C tubas, which are pretty much the same. I played both. Shit. Oh yeah, so get this, right? So I so I I played B flat tuba in high school, and then I had to get my own tuba for college. So I got a C tuba, and so the way most transposing instruments work is like the sheet music transposes. So like, you know, if you play trumpet and you have a C trumpet or a B flat trumpet or whatever, you can read music 
Or you can just like play a C trumpet and it's like the same, because like the note the fingerings for the notes are all the same. For whatever reason, tuba's not like that. So the fingerings themselves are transposed. So when you switch so like when you switch all like I just had to like relearn all of that shit. It was really annoying. No sub two Sag. Yeah, no, this is definitely not gonna sub two. But could be pretty good. Yeah, your trick doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Even if you get into the 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 thing, it doesn't um turn the door. Yeah, I wasn't able to get it to work. Loading it in normally. It's very But sad. the drill room's loaded. The drill room is loaded, true. Don't die during the final boss. Yeah. I will do my best to not do that. Alright. This is it. Not sub two because some of best is it sub two? Well, I'll just skip the entire final boss. How does that sound? Sounds like hog for paste. I think. That'd be pretty sick, actually. And by that, I mean that would be amazing. <laughs> what, what is this? Uh, this is the uh, a moon or whatever it's called. Can I please? Please. So if you match Crouch getting off this thing, you get the Super Kinesis uh, anywhere, although if it decides to work... If it decides to fucking work... Holy shit. Control, dude. You can get this over here. So yeah, this is the final boss. Uh, you gotta hit... You gotta throw markers into the yellow spots on its eye three times. So you're supposed to only be able to use this kinesis when you're standing in the center, so we're able to get a better angle there. Um, you gotta be careful though, because the map will gradually start breaking. And if you're standing on one of the broken spots, you die. Or, like, as it, like, breaks, you know, then you die. I'm trying to grab some of these markers here. So I can keep them, potentially. He'll knock a bunch of them out of the way like an asshole. Come on. Okay, gotta be careful. I really gotta make sure I hit this. Because I don't think I have any other markers. There we go. Alright, that was kind of slow, but we got him. Yeah, this game has all. Or this series has a lot of stuff about, you know, things getting poked into eyes. Or at least 2 and 3 do, anyway. Oh yeah, I'd never seen that before either, Alexis. <laughs> just gets stuck out of bounds. Pretty sick. Oh, also with the super kinesis, we can just rip the limbs straight off of enemies. So they're not very challenging. They're more just annoying at this at this part. Marker, nice. Okay. Alright, shit, can we do this part again? Oh my god. That started breaking away, I thought I was gonna die. Oh my god, I would have died, holy shit. Okay. Let's go.
Damn, I thought that last one would have missed. Like, I the last one looked like it was gonna miss. I didn't think it was gonna hit either, that's why I popped up. <laughs> Yo, we might get the sub 201 actually. You'll get sub 201. Let's fucking go, dude. This will be a low 202. Yo, what's up, disc golfer? Yes, this, uh, unless I somehow fuck up this last part, which is not gonna happen, uh, yes, this should be world record. Damn, dude. I'm gonna have to get on that grind. You're gonna fucking compete with me for the first trifecta. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how much more I wanna grind this, I don't know. But yeah. I mean, I'm going for fuck. cliff skip. I mean, at that point, I'm, at that point, I'm not gonna do that, probably, so. <laughs> You got that, dude. <laughs> Alright, there we go. 20028, I think. I gotta double check. I think that was a 27. It might have been a 27. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. And I go to the last split. Fuck you, final boss. But why are you manually ending your timer? Because the this version of the auto splitter doesn't <laughs> do it. <laughs> That's why I did it on accident when I used the other one the other day, because I forgot which one I was using. Let's go. Alexa says, it's broken and I'm lazy. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Alright. Very nice. There were still some really dumb mistakes, but overall... Very good. Yo, holy shit. This <laughs> golf for 123 cheered. X500. WR Shark 3 Foam Shark 3 Foam. Dude, you're insane. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. Holy shit. Really appreciate that, dude. Always means a lot. Thank you for the GG's, Alexis. Oh. Hey, where was that plus two node you were talking about? Oh, um, uh, what's it called? A crash site? Whatever chapter eight is. Um, after the first cutscene where you get knocked down by the snow beast, it's like right around the corner on your right, like when you're running down the path. Oh, you got here like right at the last eye thing. Oh, dude, I thought I missed it for sure. I mean, we probably, I mean, we were probably still would have gotten it, but um, that that helped a lot because I don't know if there were any other markers around. We might have had to have waited. Okay. Do you know what kind of node it is? Plus two damage. Uh, I think it's plus two damage minus one clip, I think? I don't remember, though. I think that's what it is. Oh, yeah, I have to go I'm gonna have to go back and watch the alien machine part, because you said I almost fell off. Oh my god, I almost died on the boss, too. Oh no! It, no, Alexis is right. No, it's um, yeah, it's it's two damage minus one reload. That's right. I remember because I was like, ah, oh, it's the same one that Matt crafted in his run, but there's one like right there. So that's why I was like, maybe that could be fast. Well, this is my I this is my first time ever having a record in this game. So I've now had the record in all three. Though I only had the record in one for a few hours, so it still counts. Let's go. Alright. So, let me think. So if I had gotten the dialogue skip in five, and that would have saved like 20 seconds. Um, trying to think where else I could have, where else I fucked up. Um, Snow Beast could have been a little faster. I don't know. Sub 2 is definitely doable with this route, but you really can't fuck up very much. I mean, my Summer Best is getting lower, so I have a little bit more wiggle room, I guess, but... Playing within a minute 20 <laughs> for two hours is kind of hard. Back to DS1 grind. I th I'm actually thinking when I, I'm not sure. I might actually leave this here. Um, 
If I feel like doing more runs, I might. I mean, sub 2 is right around the corner, but it'd be a bit more of a grind, I think. I don't know if I want to do that right now. Um, I might go back to Dead Space 2, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, Radish has DS2, yeah. Um, I was thinking about doing some other categories in 2, though, as well. Like, I, I, I do want to go back to any percent at some point, but... I want to I wanna get sub-150 in Hardcore, which would be pretty sick. Um, I want to... I might try to get the record back in no deloads in 2. Um, I think I'm the only one that's ran no out of bounds, but I want to lower that as well, because my run's really bad. Fuck it, I might do more Zealot runs. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's what I should do. I should do a There's Always Pang run. I gotta figure out where Pang is in Rosetta Labs, because that's the only part I don't know how to do. It's really easy to find. I might do that tomorrow, actually. Fuck it. Like, maybe do that tomorrow and then do some Dead Space 2 after that, like the next day. I think that might I think that might be the move actually, because that's like a th it's like a three hour run, so it'd be like a pretty good length. Um, I think that's the plan. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Well, um, let's see, do I want to do anything else? I could. Well, I can't do another run of this, obviously, but um. I'm trying to decide if I want to do kidnapped or not. <laughs> Maybe later. Okay. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right. So I think I think that's it for me for right now. But I think we're gonna do the Pang run tomorrow. So in case I didn't explain it fully, basically, uh, there's always Pang as a trilogy category where you have to get Pang in all three games in one go. Uh. There's a couple things I gotta practice for that, uh, but shouldn't be too bad. What time? Um, not 100% sure, but most likely around 8 p.m. Eastern is most likely when I'm gonna start. Um, yeah, yeah, that pro around around 8 p.m. most likely. Um, if you're not in the Discord, uh. You can join, or I, I post on my Discord when I go live, um, just in case you want to see that. Um, but if not, I should be live around 8 p.m. Uh, I'll throw the link in in case anyone else wants to join as well. We post a lot of memes, mostly. <laughs> it's mostly memes and then me going live. <laughs> Yo, let's fucking go, Shark Hat World Record um. Dead Space 3 Pogu Pogu.